repeatedly refused to answer questions relating to the financial arrangements between the Ministry of Health and Orange, the organization under contract with the government to deliver uh, ambulance services. Speaker, according to Tom Lapine, Chief Operating Officer at Orange, taxpayers have no right to that financial information. Does the Premier agree with the Chief Operating Officer that Ontario taxpayers have no right to the financial information of an organization that receives millions of dollars from the Ministry of Health every year? As a speaker, um, Orange, of course, is, uh, is our, an ambulance service. Uh, uh, they provide critical air ambulance services to Ontarians. In many parts of this province, Speaker, uh, in fact, throughout the province, we rely on Orange to get people to the care they need as quickly as possible. And through Orange, we have been able to increase access to emergency medical transportation, especially for Ontarians in, in northern and remote communities. Uh, we fund Orange through a transfer payment agreement. We have an accountability agreement with Orange, ensuring that they provide Ontarians with air ambulance services, with base hospitals, with organ recovery speaker and air paramedic training certification. They provide 20, 000, over 20,000 admissions a year, which improves health care for Ontarians. Supplementary. Still refusing to answer. Speaker, $150 million are being transferred to this organization by the Ministry of Health every year, and the taxpayers are told yeah. they have no right to know how those funds are being allocated. A creature created by the government that claims it is not a government agency yet has 116 employees on the government's sunshine list Whoa, and not a, a so-called not-for-profit organization that has spawned a number of for-profit entities under its umbrella and refuses to disclose financial information. I'd like to know this from the Premier. How can the Premier ignore the potential for conflict in this organization that receives multi-millions of dollars of government funds while at the same time operating a number of for-profit entities. Can the Premier see the conflict? Minister. Uh, Speaker, um, the member opposite would know that Orange is a, uh, is a non-profit corporation. It receives uh, government funding. As a result, they are required to report to the Sunshine List any employees that make over $100,000 per year. And I understand that they have frozen non-union compensation since 2008. I'm sure the member opposite is interested to know that the Auditor General is, in fact, looking at uh, Orange right now, is doing a value for money audit. And I know we certainly all look forward to the results of that audit, Speaker. Good question, the member for Park Daly Park. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is also to the Premier. In Ontario today, tenants who pay for their utilities as part of their rent could still have their vital services cut off if the landlord fails to pay.